The jury is still out in the graft trial of former Chief Executive Donald Tsung. As Adam Shu reports from the High Court, the jury has requested further directions from the judge as it struggles to reach a verdict. The nine jurors yesterday asked the judge for a day-to-day -day example explaining how a person could be deemed to have committed misconduct in public office when there is a lack of evidence. On that count, they needed to ascertain if Zhang had deliberately failed to declare that an architect he nominated for a government award was renovating his Shenzhen penthouse. The jurors deliberated into the night without arriving at a conclusion. The defense argued that Ho was nominated purely for his contribution in his field, so Zhang had a good reason not to disclose his relationship with Ho. The Daily Live example High Court Judge Andrew Chan gave today was of a boy handing in a school report that showed he had failed all his classes, which had to be signed by his father. The father was away from home, but the boy submitted a signed report anyway. The judge said the inference is that the boy forged his father's signature, even without direct evidence. But the judge went on to know that a reasonable excuse for the boy to do that would be that he had told his father about the report and received his consent to sign it on his behalf. He also responded to another request by the jury, this time on the separate corruption charge. Justice Chan told the jurors to be clear on whether the prosecution had proved that the granting of a digital broadcasting license to Wave Media, which was 20% owned by businessman Bill Wong, was connected to Wong's providing a free refurbishment of the Shenzhen flat to the former CE. The jury said today it could not reach a majority verdict on whether the free renovation was linked to Wave Media's three applications for a license, among other items, to be approved by the Executive Council. Justice Chen urged the jury to use their wisdom and experience, but did offer to provide further guidance to help them reach a decision. Zhang has been standing trial since January for two counts of misconduct in public office and one of a chief executive accepting an advantage. The judge says he'll only accept a unanimous verdict or a majority verdict of at least 7 to 2 on those charges. Adam Xu, TVB News. Two